Hey there, my friend. This is Philip Blackett. I just got out of the movie theater while I was checking out The Best Man Holiday. I want to share with you my thoughts on that. Uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. Alright, alright. So, I just got back not too long ago from the movie theater watching The Best Man Holiday. I've seen the first one. I actually liked that one a lot. So, I was kind of curious. I almost didn't get to see Best Man Holiday this weekend because I... I mean, I heard a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people on Facebook and that sort of thing talking a lot about how good this movie was. And I'm kind of one of those people that almost kind of resist the crowd a little bit and let it kind of damper down before I check it out. But, hey, I was just finishing IHOP. I uh, just, you know, had a good breakfast in. I was right by the movie theater. had some time on me. I said, you know what? Let's go and check out um, The Best Man Holiday while we're at it. Honestly great movie i'm not gonna spoil anything i'm not gonna say anything else about the movie except that it was a great movie definitely recommend it especially if you're a fan of the best man the original movie in that sense as well but i will say this one of the things i did appreciate about this movie but in particular which is probably one of the reasons why i think so many people could relate to it and really love the movie for what it was it seemed like every single character had their own issues, their own challenges that they were facing. And the movie did a great job of being able to share that where it seemed like nobody was perfect. Nobody, you know, didn't have something that they were dealing with, that they were struggling with, um, that they were going through in that sense that honestly, you know, just frankly, right, frankly speaking, there were a couple people that had some issues that I've either been through or currently going through right now. And I could relate to that, right? And what's the point out of all that? Why is that important for me to share it in this video? Here's the thing. There are no perfect people out there. That's what makes us human. Human beings, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. We all have our drama. We all have our excess baggage. Things that we're insecure about, that we're fearful of, or that sort of thing. And stuff that we have to go through that a lot of times we're going through it through closed doors that you haven't seen before. Nor do we intend on it for you to be seeing it in the present, in the light, in that sense as well. But there's something about being vulnerable. Being able to share that, look, you don't have it all together. You're not perfect. There's some things that you're struggling with, your things you're growing through in that sense as well, that people can appreciate because a lot of times we're so afraid to be our true selves because we're afraid of what other people will say and how people will judge us that it's always better, at least better in some sense of the word, to act like we all have it all together. And I'll be one of the first ones to say, you know, as much as I try to come off like everything's good to go. I know that's definitely not the case with me. I have things I'm working through. Like I said before, there are some issues in that movie that I could relate to if I've either been through or going through right now. But the beauty part about being a human is understanding that everybody has issues. Everybody has problems. Everybody has fears. Everybody has insecurities, even you. Whether you admit it or not, don't deny it. I know you do. I know you got a few over there, some skeletons in your closet, some things that you probably don't want out in the public like that. But honestly, here's the good thing about it. You're not the only one likely going through that by yourself. There's probably other people doing that. And part of the reason why I do videos like this is to share with you, look, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm not here in a suit and tie and that sort of thing, clean shaven and that sort of thing. Look, I'm just being me. Because more than likely, more than anything else, I know some of you will be able to better relate with me and what I'm going through by just being myself. And I want to encourage you by doing this video for you to be yourself. Don't be afraid to to um, show your vulnerabilities or what you're working on in that sense as well. Show the good and the not so good because honestly, people will respect it. The right people will respect it. Dr. Seuss best said it. Be who you are, and, and, and those who do mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. To paraphrase that quote, but essentially it's like, by you being yourself, the real people in your life, your best friends, the good people in your corner, they won't mind your faults. They actually will try to help you, and those who do mind it, they probably don't need to be there in your corner in the first place. But nevertheless, 
don't be afraid to be yourself. Be human. That's what we are all gender. <laughs> we are all created to be in that sense as well. Like you know. So like I said before, great movie. Definitely the takeaway for me was just be yourself. Good and a not so good. Be you know unafraid. Be courageous. Be bold. To embrace who you are, all of you, 100% of you, both your strengths and your vulnerabilities, because more than likely, other people will respect you for doing that, and you will give other people encouragement to go through what they're going through, knowing that they're not alone in that sense. So, hope this is of value to you, and if you haven't gone to see The Best Man Holiday, definitely, definitely, definitely go out and check it out, all right? This is Philip Blackett signing off. Uh, Take care, and I'll talk to you soon, all right? Bye. (laughs)